Agent Unruly here, in this video we're going to be exploring if the VIP experience for Hauntuin LA was worth the price or not. VIP admission gets you priority entry into the event. Here we are arriving just before 5.30 and as you can see the line isn't too long. My one issue here is that there is no one to merge you into the general mission line to get into security. Once you get past security, you'll get your own private entry. I'm in line for the general admission since I had a general admission ticket, but the girls had VIP entrance, so they had their own private entrance. VIP admission is $70 per person. Also with VIP admission, you get a branded trick-or-treat bucket. Inside the bucket is popcorn and a candy apple. The branded trick-or-treat buckets were kind of small in my honest opinion. Ooh, that's kind of small. The other thing I didn't like was they gave you a little stamp to show that you're a VIP. They didn't give you a lanyard or anything else that really shows that you're a VIP person. VIP admission also includes a front of line pass for face painting and hairspray. Here is the VIP entrance for face painting. The face painting line was about 20 minutes at about 5.45, so it does save you some time. When the girls went to go get their face painted, there was only one other guest in the VIP line, so their wait was no more than 5 minutes. The VIP pass for face painting was definitely worth it. Here's the VIP entrance for the hairspray. At 6.15, there was no line, so VIP wasn't needed. If you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you get to know when all of our next videos are coming out, and make sure to leave a like and a comment. At the Fantastic Fair is where your VIP admission really kicks into overdrive. Your VIP admission pretty much gets you a fast pass to all the bounce houses, the roller coaster, the slide, and the merry-go-round. VIP pass saved Josephine here about a 10 minute wait. Here at the merry-go-round, the uh, VIP pass got Josephine and Grandma on the ride pretty much right away. They saved themselves about a 5 to 10 minute wait. At the large side, the VIP line probably saved Grandma and Josephine about a 30 minute wait. Josephine and Grandma had no more than a 5 minute wait. I think it took them longer to take their shoes off than it was for them to get on the ride. If you want more information about Hantuin and about general admission, please check out our other video. Our other video has a full review about the entire event. Here's the VIP line for the roller coaster, the little kitty coaster. Uh, honestly, it's just a 5 minute wait for Josephine, but the regular line itself was probably about 30 minutes. The other bounce castle had no weight at all, so there was no VIP line, there was no general mission line. This was large enough to fit a bunch of kids, so there was no line. We left Hantuin just before 8pm, and as you can see, there is a pretty long line to get into the event. But if you look closely, there is no line for a VIP admission. In my opinion, VIP admission is really worth it if you plan to come to the later hours. Compared to how the line was when we showed up at 5.30, uh, there is a big difference between the lines. Overall, in my opinion, the VIP admission was worth the price. Uh, my only thing about it was no lanyard and the Halloween bucket they gave you was kind of tiny. Everyone had a good time and hopefully we'll be back next year for 2023. Until next time, explore on Explorer.